Well, it looks different. That's one reason why I bought it. It doesn't look like your normal RV. Lou Johnson is showing us around his RV. The tour comes in the middle of a long drive across the country. Bloomington, Illinois. He's already been driving for a few days, covering 1,550 miles so far. It's an angry beaver. This was a t-shirt in the 90s. This t-shirt was being sold at OSU. That was the front. And this was the back, where the beaver's breaking through. I suppose you figured it out by now. Lou is a beaver super fan. Thank you very much. The RV he's had for 10 years oh, is called the Beaver Mobile. With tickets in hand, he's headed to the men's basketball tournament in Indianapolis to cheer on the beavers. Ta-da! Uh, one of my managers gave this to me. Lou graduated from OHSU in 1981. He remembers how good the basketball team was then, and he wasn't going to miss this historic march to the Sweet 16. I might as well go come to this the last time the Bees were this good was the year after I graduated college. They did this well in the tournament. Lou geared up and got on the road to Chicago, where his son Eric will fly in and ride along to Indianapolis for Saturday's game at the Lucas Oil Stadium. This, I was here, and somebody just came up and asked me if I was going to Indianapolis, and they said, good luck. On the way around Tulsa, a couple cars slowed down and pulled down their windows and took pictures of the, car, of the mobile. The Beaver Mobile is attracting as much attention as the Beaver team is. This trip is just what Lou needs to do for his team. I'm an alum and you got to support the Beavers and I'd rather go watch the Beavers play than most everything else. I just enjoy them. It's a lot of fun. After seeing the Beavers beat Oklahoma State, there was no doubt that he was going to the tournament. And they're on a roll. As long as they keep on winning, my best hope is I can stay in Indianapolis through the next week. More wins mean more games and more support from Lou and his son, Eric. You know, it's been 39 years since the Beavers were this far. It's a great day to be a Beaver. Every day is a great day to be a Beaver. Go Beavs! I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.